before we went for the African Beach Games in Kivet, we had gone around looking for support. And one of the companies that stuck with us, or who stuck their neck out and then supported these young boys and girls to Kivet, was Ashfoam uh, Ghana. The other company was Toyota. Uh, they eventually funded our trip to Kivet. Uh, during the presentation of the tickets to the athletes, uh, Ashfoam had promised that once they go and they go and do well, uh, they were also going to make further presentations to them. So today, Ashfoam is here to do that presentation to the team that went to Cape Verde for the African Beach Games. The other reason why Ashfoam is also here is that the GOC has been having discussions with some major companies so that we could be able to self-finance our participation or our preparation and participation at the Tokyo 2020 Games. Ashfoam is one of the companies that we've been holding discussions with, and, uh, and that is the other reason why they are here. Uh, maybe they've finally taken a decision on what to do for us or whether they are going to support the GOC. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the two reasons why we ask you to be here. And once again, let me say I'm very sorry. And I really appreciate the, your dedication and the commitment to the works of the GOC, especially the Lease Finance Force. I mean, I'm sure people will be very surprised if they walk in here and they realize this is a press conference on volley or table tennis or weightlifting. This is normally what we see when there are football uh, press conferences. So you can see the trend is, ch is changing. And it is you guys who have changed that trend. And for me, I'll always be very, very grateful to all of you, especially the Obus, the Sami, the Paul, the Clements, uh, Bana, all of you. Uh, you really helped to project the, the so-called lease finance force, and we're grateful to you. Until you guys came on board, maybe some five years back, nobody spoke about lease finance force. There was no lease finance force platform. There was no journalist who would go out of his way and write articles on table tennis, write on squash, write on bad meeting. But now it is changing. We're hoping that uh, gradually uh, we would be able to uh, get more mileage and more airtime because that is the only way that sponsors will also want to come on board to support us. You see, yes, apart from their corporate social responsibility, every sponsor wants mileage, they want visibility. And who are the people who are best placed to give them that mileage and that visibility? It's you guys. That is why I don't joke with you, that's why I love what you guys are doing because that's the only way we can support our sports. There's no country in the world where the government has fully funded sports 100%. There's no country. Sports normally thrives on sponsorship from individuals and from companies. And that is why uh, a lot of countries are doing well, because they're able to attract uh, sponsors. They don't depend fully on their government to fund their sports 100%. And that is something that the GOC is also committed to doing where we can always support government, we would go out and do it. And we've, we've, we've shown that by the number of games that we have gone to, there hasn't been any single games that the current administration and that the GOC administration that we've gone to that we haven't contributed financially to support government. And I just mentioned to you that what we're looking at is maybe we should be able to, for Tokyo, say we could do 100% funding from the NOC. But that would depend on how many sponsors we're able to get. And it's not going to be easy if we don't brand ourselves very well if we don't brand our sports very well that is the problem that i've always had you see there is no house where there's no men's house we normally say in our tradition in in, in our in our folklore yes we have bad news we have good news but unfortunately what we tend to do in sports is that we are gradually branding our sports with the five percent bad news and that is not good for us we all live on sports especially the journalists without sports most of us will not be working so let me once again plead with you yes as much as we want to point out things that are not right in 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 our in our in our, in our sports let's be a bit circumspect so that we don't also scare off uh potential sponsors they will think that all that happens in sports is bad and that is, is everything in sports is not bad the reason is that we have so many sports journalists, unlike 
a great journalist or uh, maybe journalists who want to write on the Ministry of Finance. And that is the reason. And everybody has to be heard. So it's accepted. No, normally when you have numbers, you have a lot of talk. But uh, let's also try or have it at the back of our mind that um, as much as we want to point out all these things so that things are done better, uh, let's also not uh, destroy that golden egg. Let's also try and protect our sports. Let us speak more about the 95% or 90% 90, 90 good things that are happening in our sports so that we don't scare off uh, potential uh, sponsors. But I really appreciate what the media has done, especially for the least finance sports. I mean, these days, we work to companies and they are able to give us uh, sponsorship. It's, it's definitely what is happening here. Uh, Ashram agreeing to come on board. So you guys are doing very well. But let's take it a notch higher so that we'll be able to attract more sponsorship. And the more sponsorship we have in sports, the first beneficiaries will be the athletes. The second beneficiary, I'm sure you will agree with me, that will be the media. Because any sponsor giving money for any sports uh, tournament who wants news on it. So when the athletes are traveling, when you take a budget, okay, the athletes are going, I want to include one journalist who will then talk about what you have done for the athlete. They'll, they'll willingly and gladly give us money to do that. So you guys would also benefit if there's more funding into the sports. But let me once again thank you very much for what you've done so far. It's incredible, but I'm sure a lot of you just take it for granted. But trust me, you guys have done a lot of work and it didn't just happen. But because it's normal with the work you do, you see. But when I sit back and I hear on radio people talking about bad meeting, people talking about squash, you are talking about volley, Jesus Christ, it wasn't like that some five years ago. So don't take it for granted how far you brought the so-called least finance sports. And I think that you should all congratulate yourself by giving yourself a big clap. Okay. But as a company, we, we, we think that, you know, football has maybe one million supporters and players, but there are so many of them in who could have done swimming, um, badminton, you know, and even per what we do, we could have even presented Alokoto, you know, the way we, 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 we roll Alokoto, even to the Ghana, um, what we call the International Olympics to perform. We have a lot of sports here that um, seem not to be seen or developed, you know, to the height of football and other areas. So um, when Ghana Olympic Committee um, with, uh, you know, I would say dynamic president, very dynamic president and very affable president and the team approached us some, is it about two years ago? Or let me say about a year and a half ago, um, we saw the need that, okay, instead of dealing with even the individual sports, sometimes you see Ghana Netball Association come to us and they will just write, we don't know how the money is spent and all that. We are not impugning anything in it. But with um, the, college, the bigger organization, the, like the GOC, we are very confident that if we come in and have a relationship with, we can help us achieve some of the you know, objectives that we have set as a company to developing the youth, the Ghanaian youth through sport. So that is the reason why we have been, you know, uh, you see us pretty often. I've met this media with the association about the thir third time today, you know, third time okay, since we, we met. Um, last year, indeed, so when the um, organization or the com uh, committee met us, we made promises. Um, we told them, okay, go to um, Cape Verde and come. At the time, you know, we didn't have so much money. We have not really put the program down. Well. So we said, okay, go. And when you come back, um, the the participants or those who you know represented Ghana at least let us motivate them a bit. Because when, when you get, I, I have had experiences with some organize, uh, some of the sport the sportsmen. They go there not even for the money. They just want to be what present. They want to be seen, and you know it goes on it uplift the image. But how do we motivate them? In our small, we told we promise that when they come back we would at least give them some, you know, comfort, some level of comfort. By the way, um, at Cape they played um, what you call volley, right? And I saw um, the, the <laughs> chef, <laughs> yes, you were jubilating, you know, at that time, you know, I felt that, oh, maybe Ghana, we can do 
our best, you know, beating, you know, world-class, you know, teams. So we, we have the resources here. We have the human capacity here. Yes. So um, this morning, we decided that, okay, it's been almost like six months or thereabout, but, you know, better late than never. We, we are here to present some mattresses. It is about um, 12 different kinds of mattresses to the people who um, uh, participated in the game. <laughs> Just to tell them that we, have, we watched them, we saw them. They did very well. I mean, no matter what, they, they did very well. We are proud of them as Ghanaians. We are proud of them as the Ghanaian youth. And we encourage them to, you know, continue brighter days ahead you know uh, there's one thing i've learned in life that is when you have a problem and you have somebody who you will listen to or who will listen to you that is solution number one to the problem isn't it yes so once we have the president who is ready and the team to support some of us from the corporate world we will come and then give you support so that's 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 done with um the first aspect of um today's meeting, which is to do with the presentation to the sportsmen, young men and women. The second one, which um, it shouldn't take the shine away from today's, uh, this morning's um, meet, it's um, the same, it's, it's borders on the same um, idea. That last year, just about this same time, you know, we met again, we met with the assistant, and we said, okay, Olympics is coming, 2020 Tokyo, um, what can we do to help? Mind you, um, we look at economy, corporate budgets are tight, you know, sometimes, you know, I ask questions and say, how much to my chief executive, how much money as marketing do we spend? And he says, there is no budget. <laughs> so sometimes it's just difficult to, you know, uh, want to do what you would have, you know, naturally wanted to do. Um, yes, the uh, proposal was given to us. It's gone through, you know, various degrees of, you know, mailing, and we are we are getting somewhere. We've got somewhere today, but I think that it's a continuous, it's a process, so it's not going to end from tonight. So let me announce to you that um, for some of the programs, you know, preceding the Olympics and then even going to the Olympics. Ashanti Foam Factory Limited, which is Ash Foam, and I beg me, uh, I, I beg to also add because there is another interest, and we, in, as we, you know, soldier on, it will come out. Nestra Ghana Limited, which is our, our sister brand, you know, we want to partner team together and then support the association. This morning, I am announcing to you, um, should I say preliminary or yes. let me say um, uh, tentatively. Um, we are giving the um, uh, Ghana Olympic Committee for Tokyo 2020, $20,000. And um, um, then there is also a request for um, kits. Um, we gave a quantity that we should, we will come halfway with the quantities that we, you know, given provided. The kits need to include track suits, um, branded t-shirts, um, polo sh uh, caps, and um, I was suggesting that we, we will look at I mean, the, the, the knapsack, the, the bag, the if we're able to yeah, provide the bags as well by the time, you know, June, June falls. Um, again, I'm confident to say that when the contingent goes, the Ghanaian contingent goes, and they come back, um, we don't know the number, so I don't want to, you know, <laughs> Set any targets, but what I, I do know and I'm confident is that any one of them who excel to a certain level at international games, we will give some of our product to them to motivate them again, like we are doing today. <laughs> so, and um, uh, last but not the least, looking at um, all things being equal, about um, 100 pieces each of kits that um, I mentioned earlier on. And um, there's one other um, pro uh, element in the proposal, which is um, support for sporting event for juvenile sports. Um, 
Yes, we, we would, we would um, say for now that um, maybe we can relegate it to the fall. When, once we return from the Olympics, we come back to the decks and then look at it again. So let me assure you that that aspect is also dear to us. We want to look at it. We want to go deeper into it. How best we can use that platform to help the youth and the juvenile sports men and women to grow. So, um, ladies and gentlemen of the media, um, this is my humble um, request, uh, my humble presentation from Ashanti Foam Factory Limited. Um, let me take the opportunity to say that we have a brand that um, thinks so much about our consum consuming publics. Um, we, we, we just don't produce anything that we are producing to sell and that's it. We are producing to you know, offer solution. Your bed need, bedding needs, your, your relaxation needs. I mean, if you have a very you know, good environment, whether your bedroom, your bathroom, whether your living room, whether even in your garden, we want <coughs> to come there and make you feel comfortable. Um, our brand ISO 9001 2015, this is a clear manifestation of what we have done over the years. We are not 100% perfect, but we have done our best to grow the brand from just mere mattresses and pillows to now a one-stop shop where when you enter our showrooms, you are getting everything that you want. You don't need to buy mattresses from industrial area, go to Okaishi, go and buy pillows, go to um, Okola, go and buy um, what you call bear sheet. No, you enter and you have a complete solution to all the needs that you, 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 know, you are looking for. And we assure you of solid quality because for ISO International Certified Organization Authority, there is nothing like low standard limit. Um, we want to assure our public that let's work together. Since as we grow, we're able to spread higher our you know tentacles and be able to you know engage in all these things that we do for you. On this note, I want to say a very good thank you, a big thank you to you came second, taking the silver uh, medal. In fact, they, they, they made the men's meet of the, the Africa, the so-called Africa champions at the time. So uh, it was uh, all jubilation for us. Uh, several uh, countries, I think 48 of them or so, and Ghana overall uh, placed 15th. So 18 of the countries had some medals of a sort and their flags were lifted at the final day and, and we're happy to see Ghana amongst them. Oh. Yes. Yes. Um, generally we have rep uh, presented our report to the president and uh, I think a lot of things are including our recommendations and our prayers are contained in that report. Uh, I will not go into that yet because it's, it's now in the domain of the president. But I would like to, on behalf of the team, express our sincere gratitude to first the president of uh, GOC, um, Mr. Benu Numensa, and then executives of GOC. We, we are very grateful to you as well. And then we are also grateful to um, uh, the Ashfum and uh, I think Republic Bank, Toyota, they, they clothe us and uh, uh, give us a lot of kits and other things. Ashfum especially did so well and, and Toyota, let me, let me single them out. And many other companies also that, that uh, came up to, to support us in one way or the other. I may not be able to mention all of them here. And finally, the, the pressmen, I think before we left, um, you, you were on board on hand to, to help us uh, publicize our uh, agenda and, and it, it went far and that also encouraged us to, to do more. We are also grateful to our athletes and um, the officials who, who accompany the athletes. We pray that uh, the next uh, meeting beach we are going to do even better than we have done and come out with uh, more, more medals. So uh, always support us, the media, executives, and everyone, people of Ghana support us. Thank you very much.